YouTube. It's the Weichi Cannon. And today my topic of vlogation is necrotic friendships. Yes, that sounds kind of gross, doesn't it? Necrotic friendships. I don't mean necrophiliac friendships. That's a whole different ball game. Now I'm talking about friendships that uh, you hold on to even though they're fucking rotting away. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? You know, people just grow out of connection with people, I guess. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, I don't know. I don't know. Write, write some shit in my comments and I'll reply or something. Oh, no, I don't want to go here. Where the fuck do I want to go? Um, there's the, uh, another look. I remember my last video, I think, uh, showed you the prison. That's the other side of the prison. Notice they got these berms. Makes it harder for prisoners to run without getting caught. Who would have thought, eh? Anyways, where was I? Right, so we're talking about necrotic friendships. Um, and this topic comes up for me because... Quite recently, um, I have decided to cut contact with a person who I used to consider a best friend, and now it's it's got to the point where I realize that whatever we had as a friendship it wasn't really there. You know what I'm saying? Like I held on to the ideas of what it used to be like, I guess? If that makes, that makes sense, yeah. So we've been, well, okay. Forgive me if I still speak like we're friends. I know this kind of goes against what I just said, but it's just, that's the way it's gonna come out in my speech because this is all brand spanking new. All right, um, I have no idea where I'm going either. We're just riding down this road. Um, okay, so me and this person have been friends for a long, long time. I'm talking almost a decade. And, um, oh, you know what? <laughs> that would play into several things that have happened. Either way, I'm one specific person. For almost a decade, we've been friends. And um, I've helped this person through some pretty heavy times. And this person has helped me through. Well, that was kind of cool. I totally just power slid my bike a little bit. <laughs> Sweet. Um, and I've helped this person through some heavy times as well. I didn't take this decision lightly to cut off contact, but throughout the past couple of years, this person has, um, I guess sort of drifted. <laughs> so through the past couple, uh, I'm gonna say, I'll say two or three years, this person has been um, progressively, fuck man, look at all this fucking fluff floating around. Goddamn poplar trees, man. It's the bane of my existence. Uh, sorry, yeah, what was my topic? Right, so the past couple of years, this person, um, and I have kind of drifted apart, but still maintain that we are best friends. And I mean, I don't know how you want to take that. There, there was no monkey business, there's no bumping uglies, knocking boots, riding the hobby horse, whatever the fuck you guys want to call it. No funny business. So my question is, have you guys ever had a relationship, I'm not talking romantic relationship, just like friend relationship or whatever, that you found out was basically just a giant scam? Just pisses me off. So does this guy driving slow. Then again, this is a slow road. I've taken you guys down this road before. I kind of like it, it's pretty. And it turns out it actually is called the River Road. So, um, back to my original, my original uh, topic. I, I'm the kind of person, I think that if you're gonna be friends with somebody, then I think it's gotta be 100% transparent. You know what I mean? Like, it's gotta be, um, it's a give 
and take situation. You can't be friends with somebody who doesn't want to be friends with you. You can't divulge secrets to somebody who won't divulge secrets to you, you know? But I just got tired of being that, uh, that doormat who gets walked on, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's how I feel. I feel like if I'm gonna be the one to maintain a friendship and it's just me, then you can go fuck yourself in the ass with a fucking uh, cactus. So I just basically said, fuck it. I was like, I'm not dealing with this shit anymore. I'm, uh, I'm a big boy. I can make big boy choices, and I did. I'm tired of dealing with that fucking horse shit because I just don't give a shit. I'm just, I'm tired of trying to be friends with somebody who really doesn't want to be friends. And that's the moral of this vlog, boys and girls, is if you have friends who don't treat you well, don't treat you right, fuck them with a giant, oh, I don't know, what are we fucking with? With a giant fucking pine tree. Fuck them right in the ass, man. You don't need that shit in your life. By the way, I'm, I'm testing out some new bike pants today. Some riding pants with like safety knee pads and shin pads and shit made by uh, um, Joe Rocket because that's a Canadian company and you got to support your uh, Maple Leaf brothers. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Do you, does any American out there wear Joe Rocket gear? Like, I also just bought an, uh, a new Joe Rocket helmet. And uh, it fits way different than this one. This one's like my vlogging helmet because it has all my mounts on there. And it's so f f f bejeezing, bejeezing, comfortable. I tried to not swear there, but it just basically sounded like I said jizz a whole bunch of times. Um, uh, so remember last time we were here, I thought that like some cops were gonna come out and get me because like we're entering like a petrochemical plant. Turns out I was mistaken. The petrochemical plant is one street over and down one. So we'll go cruising by there. But um, fuck man, I'm, I got ADD today. Like, oh, sweet butterfly. You know, I'm like, geez. Sorry guys, <laughs> trying to keep you interested here. There's all this, uh, this is a huge petrochemical um, industry town. So you'll see chemical companies everywhere, fuel companies over here, like Shell and uh, Petro Canada's over there. And uh, there's a giant rail yard that I used to work at back in the day. Um, anywho's, by the way, these pipes right here, they're like that for a reason. I had to ask one of my, uh, one of the people I work with, cause before I got into this stuff, I was like, what the hell is that? Why is there a giant bend? It's for um, expansion. It's an expansion joint. So in theory, it could expand that huge distance, although it wouldn't, but I just thought that was kind of cool. Anywho, the uh, <laughs> look straight ahead. There's boobs. Yeah, you see that shit right there? I know you guys are perverts just like me. <laughs> So look at this poplar fuzz everywhere, that's crazy. Ugh. I just took a rock in my neck from that truck. Fuck, that hurt. Ow. Anyways, uh, oh. how awesome would it be to cruise under that thing? Yes, boys and girls, this machine to my left-hand side is actually moving. I don't know what the hell it does, but it's fucking cool, man. I wouldn't have made it, I don't think. I would have had to have ducked. Um, yeah, I have no idea where I'm going, but it looks like I'm driving into a storm. Oh, fuck, I hate driving on gravel roads. Like, they do this a lot over here. Like, most of the roads in the back are, like, the, the back roads are paved. But then every once in a while, I just hit this small portion of gravel in between paved. And I was like, what, did they get fucking lazy or something? Anyways, I'm going, I'm going like... 45 kilometers an hour in uh, sixth gear. I'm like, why am I just like sluggish? It's because I'm not paying attention. So all this stuff is new to me. I've never been down these roads. So I'm just trying to pay attention to the road and not drive into a giant hole, which has been known to happen. <laughs> Moral of the story is I'm a little bit more vulgar than accidental broadcast, so I apologize for this. But let's live the page out of Kalani's life. 
just sit back and smile. Enjoy life, man. You only got one life. Let's, uh, oh, look at that. Cows drinking milk from their mom. That's one of those things you just don't see in everyday uh, moto vlogs. So yeah, straight from a Kalani accidental broadcast type mentality. Whatever in life makes you happy, do it. I don't care if you're a football player and you love to do ballet. If it makes you happy, man, you rock up that tutu, buddy. I am behind you. The weight you can and loves you, man. No, wait, loves you. You. If you're a ballerina and you love hockey, wow, I just sounded like I was from the East Coast. Hey, and you love their hockey there, boy. Hey, if you're uh, a ballerina and you like them there hockey, hacky. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, if you're a ballerina and you like hockey, fucking don some pads, man. Hockey needs hot chicks too. Anyways, that was my rant. It was longer and kind of all over the place. But um, just know, guys, that... Uh, guys, don't just know, guys. Just know it. No uh, boys and girls, guys, gals, ladies, gents, etc., etc. That I respect every single one of you guys, no matter what my opinion is in my vlogs. I, uh, I have nothing but love for you guys. Thank you for watching my videos. And uh, have yourself a uh, good evening, afternoon, morning, uh, weekend, weekday, um, Sabbath, whatever else you can have, whatever else you need. Have a good one of those. Wait, she kind of loves you. And uh, see y'all later. Arrivederci! That one is for... Wait, yeah. Arrivederci. That one is for... No, wait. Arrivederci is hello, isn't it? Whatever. Ciao! That is for a YouTube subscriber of mine named... Sack... I want to say Sack96, but I don't remember. I just remembered that I was supposed to say something in Italian for him because he's from Italy and he... Uh, Definitely didn't get my promise because I forgot about it. I'm not going to lie. I apologize. But uh, that is ciao. Uh, benvenuti. Um, mascarpone. Uh, Fiat. <laughs> and uh, what else? Lamborghini, Ferrari, Maserati. Anyways, see you later, guys.